guys welcome to our channel okay and if you don't know me my name is rebecca and this is momtastic tv yes so guys today i'm very very happy okay i'm in a happy mood don't get me wrong every day i'm happy okay but today is so special i'm collaborating with da vlog live da vlogs live she's a mom youtuber she based in United States of America, okay? She has a two lovely daughter. She lives with her husband and her two daughters in United States of America, okay, guys? Please go show her love, okay? I'll put her video link in my description box. So if you go there and go and show her love, don't forget to um, mention that it's momtastic that refer you to her channel. Please watch her channel. The topic we'll be having today is going to be tantalizing. It's going to be fabulous. It's going to be educative. It's going to be motivating. It will let you to do more with your children. Okay. So our topic for today is all about who is responsible for teaching your children. So guys, without missing any of this, go and grab your pen and paper. Possible, grab your popcorn and your wine or coke, any wine you want to use. Please don't forget to subscribe. So stick and stay. We will be right back. Okay. <laughs> guys welcome back okay sorry guys i'm talking too loud where i am the noises are too much so i have to talk loud so that you hear me clear okay thank you very much so let's start now this topic is in, is in a two version okay she will be talking about her own in a, in her own channel and i am also talking about my own in my own channel which is i'm living in ghana and she also lives in united states of america okay so it's two different type who is responsible of teaching our children so that's the topic of this video guys you don't want to miss it go and grab your pen and paper come and list it down who is responsible for teaching our children okay so I'll be starting now okay so guys who is responsible of teaching our children is the mother okay mothers are responsible of teaching our children we the mothers we are responsible of teaching our children guys i don't want to forget anything so i list them down so guys is mothers your motherly care is including teaching your children to be of better tomorrow okay you as a mother when a child is better in the society it is of great joy to you and to your family to everyone okay but most especially is to you okay to mother your positive impact to your children is of great value in the society yes so our three mothers try as much as you can to do your best in teaching your children for better okay for better tomorrow because mother and child are one banded yes most women do complain angry with moody face while breastfeeding their baby that creates an impact to the child's behavior because he or she is learning from you while developing okay what a child need is love happiness joy faces singing songs of praises to the lord okay Singing songs of praises to the child. All this you have surrounded the child with the spirit of God. Okay. And God will release his blessings because that child is a blessing to the family. Okay. 
four talking abusive words why breastfeeding is very bad okay please read in the book of psalm 128 you will see what god holds for us there family very important to us and that verse is very important so go there go and read it psalm 128 you see what it says Family is very important to us. And in also Psalm 127 verse 3 says, Children are gifts from God. They are a real blessing. And Jesus said, Do not chase these children away from me. They belong to the kingdom of God. Matthew chapter 19 verse 14. My dear, telling lies, doing all evil things, that does not please god in their presence you are taking them away from god please my dear fellow women change start with you now any impact you bind in your child okay with whether negative or positive that is what he or she will carry i urge you fellow women i urge you Follow these ways and raise your children in good behavior and good characters and fear of the Lord. When a child starts disobeying the father or anyone, that child will also disobey you, the mom, and that will be a disappointment to you. So teach your children, teach your child or children well first. I will come to that. I will explain all this. I'm ready, okay? In our number five for today is this, the second teaching, which is the second teaching. The second teaching of a child is schooling. In the, edu in the way of educating in the knowledge and bring out the characters learned at home. Why the social media are putting it in practice? Neither negative or positive. Please, the fundamental of imparted of good behavior from home in a child should be paramount for greater values in the society, okay? Tomorrow, in the society tomorrow, most of us here in Africa, I'm in Africa while she's in U.S., she'll also be talking over there, okay, how they take the... Uh, how they train their own children over there. I live in Ghana, so where I'm also talking about my own part, okay? So, in the society tomorrow, most of us here in Africa, we always bind and cast out demon every day. If you don't get that part very well, let me read it to you again. So, but most of us here in Africa, we always bind and cast out demons every day but demon will still come back to stay but if you start early rejecting the demon and go by the rules of the lord of good characters and behaviors it will be easy for you no more casting and binding of demons in your family anymore okay so guys i will explain it now I'll explain the first part, okay? So now let's start with the explanation. I hope you have listed all this down. If I was too fast, please, sorry. I didn't want this video to be too long, okay? So mothers are responsible of teaching our children, okay? It's mothers. Why I say it's mother? Because mostly, okay, look at, for example, when you give birth, the day you give birth, the, the nurses or the, doc, the, the doctor especially, they will put their baby in your, they will put their baby on your chest for you to relate with the baby. They will not give the baby immediately to the father. They will give the baby to you. So you have been the one responsible for your children, responsible for your child. You have been the one teaching your child. You have been the one teaching your child how good manners. You have been the one teaching your child how bad manners. You have been the one imparting all sorts of things in that child. It's you the mother. It's we the mother. Okay? It's we the mother. Okay, the bad impact we are talking about. 
It's not when you are fighting with your husband. Your children, they are there watching you. That's very bad. It's very, very bad. It's bad. Whatever the child see, children develop every day. Whatever they see, they will surely say. Whatever they see you doing, they will surely do. The impartation that the children have today in the society comes from us women. If you teach your child good things, he will learn good things. If you teach your child bad things, he or she will learn bad things. And it will be going on and on. And once that child fails, the society will surely blame you. If they ask, who is your father? If they ask that child, who is your dad? And he mentioned the dad's name. And they come to their dad. Are you the father of this child? This is this, this is that. Your husband will point at you that that is his, mo his mother. Like mother, like son. Like mother, like daughter. We are responsible for our children's behavior. Okay? Okay, let's, let's give another example of schooling. If, we, if your child goes to school, any behavior your child displays, the charity begins at home. If he didn't learn those things from, from the house, he will, not, he will not go to school and be doing that. Let's give an example of talkative. If you are that talk, if you are that type, who go outside, who gossip, you gossip as a woman, you tie your baby in your back, you go outside, you, 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 are, you are gossiping, you carry your child, you are breastfeeding your child, you are gossiping. What do you expect? The child that is breastfeeding, the child that is taking the breast milk, is looking at you, watching you, listening to everything you are talking about, okay? The child learns everything from you. That is part of his or her development, okay? Carrying your, bag, your, your baby at your back, gossiping. Carrying your baby while breastfeeding, gossiping. Teaching your child all kinds of manner. Quarreling with your husband in, case, in, some, in some cases. When our husband don't give us money to cook at home, then when we want to say it, I will say it in the presence of the children. Go and meet your daddy. Your daddy, did, did he give me money to cook? When you were leaving the house this morning, did you give us money to cook? Eh? Now you are coming to eat. The child is there. The, the child is watching you. The child is looking at both of you. What you guys are doing. The child is there. Watching everything. And he will grow with it. If your home is very abusive. If your husband is abusive. You and your husband. You always fight. You always quarrel. You do all sorts of things. Your children, they are there. They are watching you. Anything you do, they are watching you. They are seeing it. They are practicing it. Okay? Let's try to impart good, good manners, good behaviors in our children. Because we mothers are the one. Really, 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 really. We mothers are the one responsible for this. Okay? For this teaching of teaching our children. We mothers are the ones responsible. So guys, let's move to our number two teaching, which I read about. So the second teaching is all about the social media teaching, the school teaching. Okay. Do you know that whatever your child learns from you from home, that is what a child is going to display in the school. If you are that talk, uh, that uh, talkative type is what one of your child will surely go to school and release that uh, exhibition. He will display that attitude. He will talk more than everyone in the class. And the blame will come to you, mother. The society will blame you. Your husband will blame you. Okay? Let's try to impart good practices in our children. Okay? For the social media, social media is out there to learn. See, you can learn from TV television series you can learn from them you can learn everything on television you can learn most of the things on television depend what your children are watching your children can learn a lot from internet depend what they are doing on internet okay anything you teach your child is what is going to learn with is what is going to hold to grow with okay so let's try to teach our children well let's try to Creating that good manners in them, good behaviors, good characters. Let's put it in them. It's a must. It's okay, guys. Let's try. Not even try. It's a must. Let's try to uh, let's try to um, create good manners in our children. Teach your children good manners. 
Teach them how to live. Teach them how they will be. I know our children is not going to live with us forever. But the little you can, please do it. Always pray for your children. Always tell them, this is this. Don't do this. This is not right. The, the kingdom of God is real. You know? The, the blessings of God are real. The punishment of God is real. You don't want to make I die know. You don't want to say I die know tomorrow that, oh, I shouldn't have done this. Mommy, you cause it. You pressure me. You make me to do this. Don't let the blames to come to you. Okay? So, that is it. Please, women, mothers, wherever you are, I don't know where you are. Okay? As a family, let us put our children together. Gather your families together. Put God in your family. Okay? Pray together. Do you know that if you teach your child how to sing, you, your children know the money routine, more daily money routine that you do in the house, which is prayer. The first thing you do in the morning when you wake up, after you wake up, what do you do is to pray. You pack your children, you bring them together and pray with them. Your child that is not with you, know it's free time or a free time to pray with that child. Now that now that the world is like this, children are not going to school, especially the little ones. Always put them together. Pray with them. Change now to start doing all these things I just talked about. Not later you start regretting and start casting out demons. You'll be looking for one great prophet to another. The work starts with you now. Train your children to be a better person tomorrow. Okay? Create Abide in your children that good manners. Put in them that good manners, that good characters that they will display in society today so that all the credits will come to you. I know you can't please anyone, you can't please everyone, but do the right thing. Do the right thing, okay? We mothers are responsible of teaching our children. No one is responsible for teaching your children for you, no. You have your cross. You will bear your, your cross. You will carry your cross. Okay? Let's try our best to, to create in that good manners, that obedient characters in our children. Okay? Let's do that. And the reward is very, very near for us. Don't do things in front of your children. Whatever you do in front of your children today is what they are going to learn. Okay, now let's give an example of maybe you are having a quarrel with your husband. And you know, maybe the, the child you are carrying in your womb is not, is not your own, is not the man that you are living with child. Okay, you start behaving funny. You start talking to the man anyhow. You start doing somehow. What do you expect that child to be? What do you expect the child to be? The child will be arrogant to the man. The child will be arrogant to you. The only thing your child can do to you is to sit down and listen to what you are saying. Then the next minute, he will leave whatever you are saying. Okay? So let's try to train our children in a good manner. In obedient way. In fear of the Lord. Okay? Let's try to do this so that the society will see us mother responsible. Because you don't want to be the top of the society. The society will surely blame you. The blame will start from the child. The child will start blaming you before the society will start blaming you. Okay? When the society blames your husband, your husband will pack the blame to you like son like mother like mother like son like daughter like uh, mother like daughter you don't want that for yourself let's always try to teach our children that obedient characters that god hey guys what i was saying before my battery died oh god therefore you are a liar I must continue today okay so now let's get serious okay guys what i was saying you don't want people referring to you that oh like mother like daughter like uh, mother like son you don't want that you want your relationship with your child to be perfect you want your children to do well in future okay you want them to develop well you don't want them to be very insulting you don't want them to start stealing you don't want them to start lying later will start blaming demons 
we start looking from one prophet to another, we start casting and binding. Whatever you do in front of your children, that's what they are going to grow with. If you are that gossip type, it's what you are going to get. If you are that type that always fights in the streets, one of your child will surely be like you, okay? And if you are that type that always embarrass your husband in the presence of your children, your, one of your child will surely be like you. It's the, the training that you put in your family that your children are going to inherit, okay? So, we mothers are the one responsible of teaching our children. No one else is we mothers. We are responsible because we and the children will buy together so much. We are so close, so related. Okay? The men, the, the, your husband leave their children in your care. Okay? We women, we are the ones responsible for taking care of our children. It's not why you are breastfeeding your baby. Start murmuring. You are talking to your husband. You start saying, did you give me money when you were leaving the house? What have you ever done for me? Who did you help? Who did you do this? You are talking nonsense. You start insulting your husband in the presence of the child while you are breastfeeding. You'll be murmuring. You'll be killing yourself. You'll be eating yourself. You'll be mm -hmm, so on and so forth. So let's stop those attitudes. Let's stop those habits. It's not good for our children's health. Okay? Let's try to be... Let's try to create a, a presentable manners in our children. Let's behave well in presence of our children. It's not all things you say in presence of your children. Try to make your own privacy. Even if you want to quarrel with your husband, let it be private. Even if you see their children, try, the children will be asking, Mommy, Daddy, what is that? Say, so, oh, we are just playing. Fine. If you teach, do you know that if you teach your children as little as they are, how to pray now, is what they are going to be doing in their own family as well. The same thing that they are going to be doing, whatever you teach your child now, is what he will carry, he or she will carry to teach her own or his family tomorrow. That is in the future. You don't want to accept blames from anyone. So let's try to, to train our children very well. To train them to have that good characters, good manners, obedient characters, fear of the Lord in them. Okay? So guys, I will leave you here for now. More are to come. So if you want to keep on getting this type of uh, topic, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And oh guys, don't forget to subscribe to DM Vlog Live. Okay? Don't forget to go to her channel and watch the other part of this uh, video okay she's also talking about her own way of training who is responsible of training our children she's also having that topic in her own channel as well please guys go and subscribe to her channel and you will never regret it and while subscribing leave a comment let her know that you are coming from momtastic tv yes and also subscribe to her other channel she have a hair channel of she, uh, it's called discovery naturals discovery natural she talk about how to keep your natural hair uh, nice what and what what products you need to use for your natural hair okay and she have a lot of amazing items that you can buy to take care of your natural hair as well please go and subscribe to her channel it's a collaboration this is my first collaboration and she is doing this for me she's my mom she has been good to me and my family. Please, guys, uh, go and subscribe. Go and show her love, okay? Please go and show her love. Go and show her love. She's very good. She's God sent to me and my family, okay? Guys, please show her love. It's Discovery Natural. Discovery uh, Natural, okay? On YouTube. Discovery Natural on YouTube. And Natural, um, Discovery Natural on youtube as well okay thank you guys i don't want this video to be too long please go and watch your own parts and also subscribe don't just watch and go it's not good guys please try to show love you don't know where your helper is coming from tomorrow okay please show love to this amazing woman and you will never regret it god bless you all so you can 
contact me on my email is in the description box okay and i'll also be leaving her link in the description box so please guys subscribe subscribe and i'm very very grateful to you all thank you all to my new subscribers thank you guys thank you all for watching thank you for staying to this time please go and subscribe to her channel i will leave a link in my description box i'm saying it again please show this amazing woman a great love okay you don't know where your angels are coming from okay please show some love thank you very much and i will see you guys in my next video peace out